and what is up everyone welcome back to another virtual reality tutorial and in today's video we will have a look on how to make custom and pose with the oculus using unity so without further ado let's get started okay so i'm here inside unity as you can see i've already downloaded the oculus integration package that you can get from the asset store and in my scene i've also prepared some objects like this black ground a brown table and this little dark cube above it so as we want custom pose in our project we obviously need hands and as you might already know from watching my previous tutorial on how to make a vr game there are basically two ways to make it either using the oculus integrated avatar or using custom hands but don't worry if you are using one or the other because i will show you how to do it with both and let's start with the oculus avatar I will first search for local avatar with grab in my project window and drag the prefab in the hierarchy. We can also reposition it like this. So this prefab is basically a pre-made VR camera rig with an avatar that can also grab object. So now everything is ready to use VR in our scene. So let's press play. And here we go, our little setup is working. We can see our hands and they are moving according to what button we are currently pressing. So how do we make custom hands from here? The first thing we are going to do is make a pose that we want to use as a base like this pointing index position that I have right now. And now I'm going to freeze the game by pressing the pose button. And now here we go, we can have a better look at our hands and if we double click on it, we can see all the bones that are responsible to animate the game object. And this is what we will be using to create a new pose. Now let's select the right hand world. Then I will add a new component to this game object called pose edit helper. Now we can simply set the pose root to be the end world game object. And here we go. Now you can see this script just displays some line where the bones are that will help us to modify them position. So now let's update the rotation of our end bone. For example, we can go here in the pinky bones and rotate all the bone one by one to spread the finger. So now you see where this is going. Once we are happy with our position, let's remove the pose edit to helper and we will drag the end world inside our project folder to save it. And here we go, you can see that now it appears as a prefab in our project. And congratulations, we now have a new pose for our right hand. But how can we use it? And this is actually really, really simple. We'll first unfreeze the game here. And now let's get to the avatar component in the local avatar with grab game object. As you can see here, we have a variable called left hand custom pose and right hand custom pose. And if we drag the pose that we just made there, our hands are currently updating to our new pose. Amazing, right? And this is basically how we can control the pose of the Oculus avatar. So as an example on how to trigger this, let's create a new script to this game object. I will call it Let's Rock. So in this script, you will need a transform variable for our pose and a reference to the avatar. And at the start of the game, we can access the avatar with a get component of type of VR avatar. And now inside the update function, I will trigger the pose we just made if we press the grip button on the right controller. So to do this, let's check if the button is pressed using OVR input dot get primary and trigger and if we are i will change the pose of the avatar now back to unity we can drag the pose we just made in the script and if we press play you can see that when i press the grip button my hands update to our custom pose nice but what can we do with so much power in our hands and for me the best use of custom pose is to grab an object and change the hand position according to that object. and this is what we will be doing now so as you can see i've already have in my scene this little cube which has a rigid body and a collider so now if we wanted to grab it we can simply add a OVR grabbable component to it and here we go if we press play you can see that I'm able to grab the cube but what if I wanted to trigger a particular pose when I grab this cube like the pose that I'm currently creating on screen and uh, I know it's not the best pose in the world but it will do the job to show you okay so to trigger a pose when we grab an object we'll create our own extension of the OVR grabbable script. So I will start by removing the OVR grabbable and add a new script that I will call grabbable with pose. 
So in this script, we'll need two transform variables, one for the custom left pose and one for the custom right pose. Also, I will need a reference to the avatar. As we want this script to extend the classic OVR grabable, we will change here the mono behavior extension to the OVR grabable. And now with this, we can actually OVR the function inside the OVR grabable script. So for example, let's OVR the function that start to grab. Inside the script, we'll call the original grab begin function from the OVR grabable script using begin. So accessing the end used is not available because it's actually a protected variable. So we can easily fix this by going inside the OVR grabber script that you can have access with a shortcut here by clicking on OVR grabber with the control key down. And here we go. Now we can modify the M controller variable from protected to public. And here we go. Now we can go back to our script and we can have access of which end is grabbing an object by calling grab by dot M controller. And if it's the right controller, we will change the custom right pose of the avatar. And if it's the left controller, we'll change it to the left custom pose. And now we can do basically the same thing when we release the object. We will first set back the custom pose to null and then release the object with the initial OVR grabable script by calling base.grabEnd. And here we have it now, if we save and we go back to Unity, we can drag our custom pose inside the left and right variable of our script and set the avatar to be the avatar we are using. And if we press play, you can see that I'm still able to move my hands like before. And if we grab the object with the left controller, we have our custom pose showing on our hands. How awesome is that, right? And here we go. That's how to use custom pose using the avatar from Oculus, which yes, it's quite simple, but it lacks a lot of controls. We cannot modify the avatar itself. And you can see that, for example, we cannot blend easily between the end animation. And and that's why we will see now how to modify the end pose, but this time using the custom ends. Oh, and by the way, if you are enjoying this tutorial so far, you can let me know by liking this video or commenting below. It will also help YouTube to know it's a good video to show for this subject. Okay, so as you can see, I'm here inside another scene with this time a little coffee cup and a coffee table. So now let's set up my scene to use custom ends. I will start by searching for the OVR camera rig and drag it in my scene. And now I will drag both the custom left and right and in my scene too. We can position a bit better the OVR camera rig. And now if we select both the custom ends, I will set the parent transform to be the tracking space game object under the the OVR camera rig. And here we go now that I've pressed play, you can see that, wait, what's going on? Okay, I forgot to set the tracking level in the camera rig to floor and not eyes. And now it's a bit better. You can see that VR is working and we also have animated ends in our project. How awesome is that? And what's important here is that we have actually all the control over the ends. So for example, we can change the material to make them a bit blue or completely green like this. But enough with this, let's get back to the topic of this video, making custom and pose. So as you can see, I have in my scene a coffee cup that has a grabbable component. Also, I've already made an offset here, which I can use inside the OVR grabbable component to snap the cup directly to my hands. And here we go. You can see that now the cup snap directly next to my, my right hand. And I hope that you are seeing me coming with this one. We will now modify the end pose to correctly hold the cup. So for the custom ends, what's uh, managing the animation of the ends is an animator, which you can open here by going to Windows, animation, animator, controller. And as you can see, we have here some animation which are triggered when we press a button like flexing or pointing with the index. So to create a new holding pose, we simply need to create a new animation. For this, I will start by holding my cup to help me with the animation. Now, we can free the game by pressing the pause button. Now that the game is paused, we will create a new animation in the animation panel here. First, click on create new clip. I will call mine T hold. Now, before recording the new pose, let's add as before the pose edit helper in our hands to help us do the animation. And here we go. We can now modify the bones to create a new end pose like we did earlier. Oh, 
Okay, now what? We have a new animation. Now let's trigger it when we grab the cup. First, I will go in the animator panel and you can see that our animation is already there. Now to trigger the animation, we need to create a transition from the flex state to the alt animation with as a condition having the pose equals to 4 as it is our fourth animation. Also, we want to go back to flex when it is not equal to 4. Oh, and uh, for both transitions, it is better to uncheck as exit time here and set the transition duration to zero so that the animation will trigger directly. But you can actually tweak the parameter as you wish. Remember, with custom ends, we have the control over everything. And here we go. Now we have our animation set up correctly. And to trigger the animation when we hold the cup, we will this time add a script that Oculus has already made for us. The end pose script. So as you can see, this script doesn't know about our animations yet. So let's open it. And here we go. What's left for us to do is to add as the last end pose ID the T-hole that we made. Uh, we can now save, go back to Unity and set the pose ID to be the fourth one. Oh, and you also have variable here for still being able to flex the thumb or the index while holding the cup, but I will leave it to uncheck. And here we go now, if we press play, we can now grab the T with the tip of the finger from own pose. How oh, awesome is that, right? Oh, and you might have seen here that I still have the middle and ring finger not flexed. This is actually because I forgot to set them in the animation. So we can quickly go in the animation panel to fix this. And here we go, we have our beautiful T holding VR simulator game working on. I hope that you enjoy watching this video. Also, I would like to make a shout out to this week's new Patreon. Their name will appear here at the top right corner of the screen. And if like them, you want to support this channel and have access to not only the source code of this video, but also exclusive content, uh, go on and join us. The link is in the description below. Anyway, thank you for watching this video till the end and see you in the next one.